anyways, I'm back. So, um, sorry, my family. It's time for my family to come home, so everybody's calling. So, okay, so now I have this burnished down really good, okay? And now I can go ahead and fold that part in, and I can burnish this down really, really good. Okay, and then that folds in like that, and that folds in like that. So, there is all of um, our papers, and um, now we just have to cover the outside of this. And then we will be doing our last page, you guys. So, yay! <laughs> so, we are almost done. So, um, okay, so um, now we just need to cover this side here, and... Um, so it's basically um, the same thing. Uh, just go ahead and grab some papers. On this one here, now this one is going to be different because this one we don't need to um, score anything. Uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and bring, make this our big one here. So this one will be um, the three and a half by five and a quarter, okay? And then this one will be the three and a half and five and a quarter. And this one will be the small one. So, so, um, so this one, I think this was just my... Leave a little bit of a mark here. So here we need to just um, cut this down a little bit here. Just leave a little sliver from the bottom and a little sliver from this side here and then this part I think we can we can go ahead and um, this part here might might be able to just get scored down so um Because if you want to get your bone folder, just follow along that line, that ridge there. Okay. And we should be okay. So um, if you want to, just go ahead, grab your bone folder, follow along that ridge. Okay. Like that and then go ahead and fold over and like I said I don't know where my bone folder went I know it's I know it's up here somewhere oh there it is see I knew I would find it y'all okay so see how that'll work just like that um, we just need to trim off a tiny bit right here on this side and then the bottom part and then um, go ahead and measure this part out and um, same thing here so so that will be good there so okay so um, we will do the same thing here so this one will actually measure again we're, we're going to cut the the um, all three at um, three and a, or not all three I'm sorry another one at two and a half by five and a quarter so let me see not three and a half three and a half by five and a quarter so three and a half by five and a quarter So for here, we will have to cut this down some again, okay? So what I'm going to do is grab my bone folder, and I'm just, I'm actually using the book as my guide, okay? 
I know a lot of people measure everything out, cut it, but sometimes um, I like to use the book as my guide. Um, I find that that way I know where exactly I'm going to cut. That's exactly where my paper is going to lie and um, I don't have to worry about it. So um, again, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm moving my paper over to the edge of that, that um, crease that we have, our fold line. Okay and I'm getting my bone folder and I'm going to crease that. I kind of know that's where I need to cut my paper. Okay? So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my trimmer. I'm also going to um, uh, once I cut this, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down, okay? And I'm going to trim this at 5, or at the C, I'm sorry, and we're going to trim this at the C too. So, um, I think that's what we'll do. So, let's go ahead and trim this. can still have this part here and then this is going to go here I think that's the one yeah that's the one that we did there and then the middle part one um, the middle one um, we're just going to go ahead and um, you just need a piece of um, cardstock that is three and a quarter okay by uh, five in an eighth, okay, or yeah, five and an eighth, so that way it leaves your border up top, okay. So that's what you're going to need. So we're just going to push this up a little bit right here. I have this this piece right here um, that I have just as a scrap, and I'm actually going to use this piece, and I'm going to actually stick. Um, this lady on top of here like that okay so um, that's how I'm gonna do that and I'm actually or, or you know what I might actually just do yeah I might just go ahead and do like a tuck spot and then leave her in the tuck spot I think and I'm actually going to go ahead and do what I kind of did with this one here. I'm going to grab my bone folder and on that scored edge, not not this one, but the, the tag part, or you can get your pencil, okay, and mark where we need to where we need to score it, okay, which would be right here.
And again, I'm just kind of um, forming my um, score line so I know um, that's where it needs to bend at. So I'm just grabbing my, my little um, scraper and I'm going around it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and go around this part too. So I'm just kind of grabbing my right, my scraper and coming up and going down. There we go. All right. And then this is where I'm going to go ahead and fold it. Okay. So, again, you're going to burnish that piece in, okay? You're going to go ahead and burnish that all the way in. And it is going to be kind of tight um, because we've got some paper on there. We've got a couple of pieces of paper on there. Okay. So, um, if you have some like little excess papers hanging out, you can always come back in and cut those off. Okay. And so there is that. So we just got to stick this lady on here. some little ones here um, from my border um, I just need to cut off a sliver here and here at the bottom part so again you're just gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of your slivers once you get your tags on there okay And then, um, again, we're just going to go ahead and fold that. Make sure it's fold, folded in really good and it's burnished down really good. And you're going to go ahead and take it. I need to glue that part down very well. And we're going to go ahead and put it down like that. And so there is your book. So... Um, so we have the bigger lady and then the little lady. <laughs> so, and then here you can go ahead and um, you can add some pictures or whatever. Um, we can go ahead and um, make a couple of little, a um, uh, couple of little um, foley photo places for those. 
So if you wanted to, go ahead and, oops. I've got pencil mark on that. Um, so on here, like we could just put like a little photo here, mat that down. And um, so I just need a little, mat for that and that's perfect so we could just go ahead and mat that right there and then um, we could go ahead and put um, some little stickers or something on there and then um, we are good so the next thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be um, doing our frame so let's go ahead and get this matted on here and um, basically, um, again, we're going to do this at uh, two and a half by three and a half. Okay, so let's do two and a half or. So um, we went ahead and um, did our um, tags and we're done with that and it flips open like this. Um, I went ahead and stuck um, a little card right in here and then uh, did some fussy cutting and added some banners right here and then we added a mat here for a photo. So it closes like this. Okay, so there's that and then um, we have one thing left to do and that is our last page. Um, we are going to go ahead and put on our last page on our chipboard. Okay, just like this and we already did our pocket on this side. So we just need to go ahead and uh, do this part and um, make our um, our nice little uh, photo um, insert. So basically you're going to need um, acetate because um, we will cut that into a square and then we are going to and then you'll need um, a piece of your design paper party paper um, and then I for my background for my photo I am just using um, part of the big sheet that was like this and that had like the lady on it and then it had like the little banners um, I'm just using that as as for my background um, sheet so okay we're gonna go ahead and stick this on okay and There, it took part of my paint. Okay, so I need to grab my paint and repaint that. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So um, we have one more um, page to finish, and this was the one with the pocket, um, one of the pockets that we did. And um, so this one is blank, and this is where we're going to go ahead and do a large uh uh, frame. So what I did was I went ahead and pulled out my Spellbinders dies and I'll show you which ones I'm using. I am using okay. I'm using the um, A2 
Matting Basics, um, which is the card creator. And basically, they're just um, rectangular dies. So I actually picked um, the largest one, and then I picked the third one down um, in order to make the frame. Okay, so um, we are going to go ahead and cut those down. Okay, so I just need my um, scissors. Grab that. Move our page. And then I just need, um, you just need your, your paper, whichever one you're going to use. And since I'm using this one, um, I am going to cut that down just a tad. See here. I think this is about a four and a half. So I'm actually going to cut this down to um, about a five. Okay, so that gives me a little bit piece there. And I'm just going to put that on my Sizzix here, just like that. And then if you want to, you can grab a piece of washi tape. Um, I always grab some washi tape just in case I need it to kind of hold down my dies so they don't move. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. I'm just going to cut that in half. So I'm just going to kind of um, eyeball it and space them apart. Okay, just like that. that I was going to set my photo on top of. Oh, here it is. So you'll just need to grab one of these, okay, just a, a plain piece of paper from your stack. And like I said, I was just using um, the big, bigger portion of um, the one that had the banners and stuff on it. I went ahead and cut it, cut it up. <laughs> so we used that. So now I just need to cut this down. So um, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut this down to five. So, so, I think that's where it's at. I don't know. Hold on one second. Actually, that's not it. So, hold on. I need to cut it down to four in about four inches. So that's what this is. This is about almost four inches. It's, it's like four and one eighth but I'm gonna cut it down to four inches, okay? So four inches. Just like that. Okay, and then how I'm going to do this is um, I decided um, to kinda, I want it kind of uh, to lift up a little bit so you can um, go ahead and scoot your picture down in there with ease. And I know, like, and then I wanted to go ahead and put um, acetate on top of this. So, you will need to get a piece of acetate. So, for the acetate, um, we're going to go ahead and make this also four inches. So, I'm cut it up. window. So
So now what we're going to do is, um, because I want this to look nice, and like I said, I really wanted it to, um, you know, be a nice picture, you know, for the birthday party. So, um, I am going to go ahead and turn it over and actually going to cut this down some. So your acetate is going to actually be four and a, four and a quarter or five and, a, and, and one quarter. So that is actually going to be the measurement of your acetate. Okay. So just like that because it was too long. So five and a quarter is what your acetate is going to be. Okay. And um, so we'll go ahead and glue that on. So I'm just going to go ahead. Alrighty, so my acetate is on there just like that and um, get some glue out of there and so now I'm just ready to go ahead and put this together so I'm gonna go ahead and I actually do want to um, stack this a little bit so in order for me to stack it I decided to go ahead and use foam tape for this part um, we're not gonna put any I mean, there's not gonna be any um, seedlings or anything like that in it so we really um, don't need to worry about um, you know having it enclosed so much but I am using a thicker or a thinner um, tape than I usually uh, use and um, this one I got at the dollar store it's really super duper sticky but it's thinner and so I kind of like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I'm not sure if I need to cut it down or not. So um, I might need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it here. Okay. And I just kind of didn't really measure it. but um, And then I'm going to go ahead and cut right down the center. Okay. So I'm just cutting right down the center of my foam tape. have a little piece right there that that's okay and now you can go ahead and stick this down on top of your paper and only peel off what you want to stick down so like I want this part to stick down <laughs>
there we go. So, um, again, your tape um, is going to be on top of here. So, when you're ready to go ahead and put your photo inside, you're just going to go ahead and stick your photo in there. And I'm just trying to push this tape down a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then your photo will fit right inside. It'll just slide right in there, just like that. And if you wanted to change it out, you could. Okay, so I do like the dimension of that, um, putting the tape on there. Um, I just feel like it. your, your picture is going to go in there so much more smoothly. And um, you'll be able to take it in and out if you want to, however you want to do it. Um, so, and then we can go ahead and stick this down just like that. Um, but first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and stick down this part. So this is our last little bit of this page here. I think the only other one I have left is I have this one left. And I've got part of this one. And then I have this sheet. These are like, the rest is just, like seriously guys, it's just scraps. Like scrap scraps. Like, so, um, yeah. So, um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. <laughs> you can hear my dog. <laughs> okay, she wants in. So, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down just like that. And leave a nice little border. I'm going to push it up just a bit. She's like, Mom, why won't you pay attention to me? Let me in. <laughs> and then she'll come in here and then she'll whine because she'll want back out again. So she just is nosy. She wants to be in here for like a couple of seconds and then she wants to be out there again. I'm going to set those aside real quick and then here we're going to go ahead and then we're going to go ahead and make some tags and stuff so um, so to put in our um, book here and then um, because we are done um, well actually we have two pages that don't really have anything on them so I thought it might be fun to go ahead and decorate them and we could go ahead and I did go ahead and put some other thing, I 
did a doggy and I have some other flags and stuff that we could put on and um, so I thought we would make um, like maybe some little tuck spots or something with the rest of our stickers so um, we have a little boy and we have this lady that has the birthday cake so she was pretty cool so I thought I would go ahead grab her and put her down here um. going to go ahead and put it on this side here okay and then on this back part I'm going to go ahead and um, put since we still have some of this left over I'm actually going to put that on my back part um, so I can journal on this part and this is the music sheet um, that we have so I really like that and I thought well we have it left might as well use it for some journaling spots so um, I think that's a really cute idea.
cute. <laughs> okay, so okay, so there's that one, and then um, okay, then we just need to do um, our other one here, this one, and I think on this one. I'm back so um, my other uh, camera died <laughs> so <laughs> I am using my other uh, my webcam so to record now so um, so I had I didn't know where I left you guys off so um, we went ahead and mounted um, a little uh, oops sorry about that one second um, we went ahead and mounted a little photo um, place right here, um, and then I uh, mounted a little bit of banner um, that I fussy cut. Fussy cut out this little dog here, and um, so he's stuck right there. And then um, we used the negative uh, from one of the flowers that I cut out earlier, and um, so I cut out some flowers out of the pink paper that you will have in your kit and um, I went ahead and just um, stuck that on top of the negative area. I wanted to put a little tuck spot in here so what I did was I just cut a little um, corner piece and I trimmed off the top uh, at like a uh, just a square so it's not so triangular and um, then I went ahead and measured that out and um, cut out um, the top uh, a piece of pattern paper for um, the top. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. But when we mount this, um, you're just only going to put um, some um, glue on the bottom portion of this and the side portion. So I don't want it too much glue on here. So um, I'm just kind of like really lightly going over um, top because I don't really want it to um, have too much glue on there. <laughs> I want to be able to get my um, little my tag in there. So. Um, so there is that part. So for the tag, we are going to do a thinner tag. So the tag will be um, made out of...
is three tags that we did for our little um, pocket right here. So, and you can journal, and you can move these tags around anywhere you want. So, they don't have to stay right here in this spot right here. They can move wherever you want them to. And um, so, then here, um, you got a big area here for a picture. Um, of course, you know, if you wanted to, you can definitely um, put some mats in there. Um, if you wanted to do that and um, so we could um, definitely map that down so and then we've got some cards that we still can do here um, so like our little um, cards little area things can go here and um, this lady I love absolutely love her um, I actually want a fussy cover to put her here. <laughs> so, and I might do that. Um, I don't know. So, um, but on here, I think I'm going to go ahead and just mat this down. And I might go ahead and make another um, picture frame here. So, um, I'm just not quite sure yet. Uh, we have We have this frame left. And you could actually cut this down. So to make it one. So um, we could do that. Uh, but there's lots of other things that you can do um, in your little book here. So if you wanted to, um, you can go ahead and definitely, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and map this down. Here. Okay, for another picture.
And then we're done. So we're done with that one. And we've got a nice picture that can go on there. And um, then um, on the back of our book, um, I would like to kind of make an envelope. Um, so people can put cards in there once they get them um, for their birthday. If, I mean, because some people keep cards and some people don't. Some people just throw them away. But those that keep cards, um, you know, like a place to put them. And so I thought it would be really cool if we did an envelope on the back of here. Um, so people can just kind of like insert their cards or something. So, um, we are going to go ahead and uh, make an envelope. So for the envelope, um, you will need of course, we're going to go ahead and use the rest of the papers that I have. Um, I've got these two full sheets left. That's all I've got, y'all. Um, and then we will need a sheet that is big enough later. So, um, I will go ahead and get my cardstock together and everything, and then I will be right back.